Good day everyone, this is Teacher Kalai and our topic is about making connections between information viewed and personal experiences. Before we start our discussion, let me ask you, have you experienced the following? Crying while reading? <laughs> laughing while reading? Feeling scared while reading. Now, how do these emotions happen while we are reading? Simply by making connections. Remember that your past experience, emotion, knowledge are the keys for you to be engaged and hooked in reading. How? While well, using your own experiences and prior knowledge, you can easily connect and relate yourself. With this, it would be easy for you to understand and enjoy reading. Remember, there are three ways in connecting yourself in the information or text that you viewed or read. The first one is text to text. This reminds you of things that you have read already because of almost the same topic, story, or author. It also makes connection with the past articles or text that you read and the present article or text that you are reading. Example Hmm, I enjoy reading this. It reminds me of a story that I read about the legend of Mulberry Tree. The story he is reading is the present article, and he connected it with the story of the legend of Mulberry Tree that he already read. Remember these questions in making connection through text to text. First, what does this remind me of in another book I've read? Second, how is this text similar or different to other things or books I've read? And the last one, have I read about something like this before? Let's have another example. This story is similar with the one I read about Harry Potter. The story he is reading is present. And he connected it with the story of Harry Potter that he already read. The second one is text to self. In here, it makes connections between a piece of reading material and a reader's personal experience or life. Example While reading these five heartwarming stories that prove dog is man's best friend, I remember my pet dog before he died. Her lost pet was her past experience, and she connected it with the one she is reading about five heartwarming stories that prove dog is man's best friend. At this point, here are the questions to connect us through text to self. Does it remind you of something in your life? Does it affect your feeling? How is this different or similar from your experience? And can you relate it to your life? Here's another example. OMG, something similar happened to me when I forgot to bring my wallet. So, same experience happened to the reader and to the character of the story he is reading. Now the third one is text to world. It makes connections by bringing the reader to a reading situation through television, magazine, newspaper, and so on. 
Example Oh, this is what I heard from the news that Cavite will also be under modified enhanced community quarantine. In here, the girl is connected through current issue or something related in the situation that is happening around her. In text to world, let us consider the following questions. How did the part relate to the world around you? Does it remind you of something in the real world? Or does it have similarity or difference to things that happen in the real world? Let's have another example. Is it true, Dad, that the opening of classes will be on August 24? So as a student, the boy connects himself through the information he read about the opening of classes by confirming it to his dad. Now, what is the importance of making connections to the information viewed or read? Well, first, it helps readers understand how the characters feel. Second, it helps readers have a clearer picture in their mind and engage in reading. And the last one is, it sets a purpose for reading and keeps the reader focused. Let's have another example using this infographic about how to wear a medical mask safely. So in here, it states the do's and don'ts. Now how do we connect ourselves through text to text? According also to the social media page of a very known doctor, it is not advisable to reuse the surgical face mask. In here, the reader has already a prior knowledge because of the article he already read related to this. Now, how do we connect ourselves in this information through text to self? Good thing that I also do the same practice because I am really scared to be infected with virus. The reader is connected through his personal experience based in this article or the information read. Lastly, how about text to world? According to the news, since there is a big demand for surgical masks because of pandemic, some people hoard this product and sell it for a bigger price. This is against Republic Act 7581 or the Price Act and Republic Act 7394 or the Consumer Act. So in here, the reader connected it through the current issue. Now, it's your turn! Wow! Compose a short paragraph and make a connection to the following given information. This one is for text to self. The second is text to world. And for number three, text to text. Now you may go back to the first item, pause the video, and have your answer. And do the same thing for number two and number three. If you are done, then let your teacher read and check your work. Again, how to make connections between information viewed and personal experiences? Remember the text-to-text, text-to-self, and text-to-world. And that's all for today. So once again, I'm Teacher Kalai saying thank you so much for watching. And please don't forget to like and share this video. And of course, subscribe on my channel. So see you all again on my next video. Bye!